This story is disturbing. We're in a Berrien County courtroom, and defendant Larry Gordon is seated in the jury box, just off screen to the right. He faces up to life in prison if convicted on charges of armed first-degree criminal sexual conduct, first-degree criminal sexual conduct during a felony, felony kidnapping, and felony assault with a dangerous weapon. The bailiff signals to the deputy just out of camera shot to escort Gordon, whose hands are cuffed in front, back to his holding cell. Jason courtroom races to intercept the gunman. There's the defendant now, pushing his way out. The defendant now runs in the same direction where a group of people from the courtroom have taken cover. You can see the defendant moving across the hallway with hostages as some others break free and run for cover. Gunshots as people in the courthouse struggle to find a place for cover. A hostage is hit as still more hostages break away. The hostage who was just shot was helped into the courtroom by some others who managed to escape. Nightmare scenario finally comes to an end, and officers fatally shoot Gordon as he tries to run. The sheriff's deputy and one of the hostages were shot by Gordon, but survived. Two bailiffs of the court were killed. Both bailiffs have been law enforcement officers for a long time, and they've been bailiffs for uh, the last uh, 10 years. Our hearts are torn apart. They were our friends. They were my colleagues. I have known them for over 30 years. So it's a sad day. A handwritten note from Gordon found in his jail cell clearly spells out his premeditated escape or die trying plan. <laughs> 